Announcing that at the end of November, Vengeance Hunter is a 100% MVS game, conceptualized and developed with ear appropriated um, well, everything. The game is a true Neo Geo game, and as you can see, it shows. I want to make clear that there's little footage available for this game, but it's way more than what I used in my last video, so I'm good. Although there isn't too much video footage, I got my hands on some exclusive screenshots and some juicy details about the game that you can only find here. But before all that, hi, I am Savino, and welcome to the Flying Kick channel. What is Vengeance Hunters and why I'm so excited about a game that has less than a few minutes of footage? Well, first of all, this is the first beaten up for the Neo Geo in... Well, almost forever. There were other beaten ups promised to the old SNK console, but this one seems to be the most likely to be released in the short term. Actually, this game is slated to be released next year, but unfortunately, that's all I got, no other date was provided. An interesting aspect of Vengeance Hunter is that the game is being made using the limitations of the era when it comes to graphics, colors and sound. According to the developers, they limited themselves to the hardware, but they also pushed its limits. The game has a tone of level animation which includes things like 2D lighting animation, rain, parallax scrolling, limited scaling, that are all entirely capable on an arcade machine of that era. And all the rest will follow suit, like characters, effects, and so on. It's always cool to find out what a 30-year-old console is capable of with the knowledge developers can have about it today. I mean, there is at least 20 years of documentation for people to check. The game will also feature something common to the consoles at the time, and I know some people will turn their faces, but the game, true to its origins, can be played in co-op, for two players, local only. Yeah, I know, I know, it's 2023 and every game should have online and so on, but hear me out. This is a new Geo game. It will be released in fiscal format for the Neo Geo with the cartridge bigger than a house. Sure, the game is expected to be released for modern consoles, but while none were specified, these versions could very well be updated with an online mode, and you know what? You're right. I will have to bother the developers asking about this. By the way, as you may have noticed on the thumbnail, the game has three playable characters. Golem, which is the wrestler type, according to developers, that will feature a lot of trolls both on the ground and in the air. And yeah, I can hear a lot of you saying that he is your main already. There's also Candy, a speed assassin that has a cartwheel move that speeds her up, giving her some my frames, and yep, that's good enough, she's my main. And finally Looney, a ranged type character that uses a rocket type hand and the only one I have good footage from. As you can see, the game will allow all types of combos with juggles, aerial attacks, wall bounces and everything to keep that combo counter flowing in that high score growing. The game, again, according to the developers, has its roots firmly planted in the mechanics that made games like Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, Final Fight and Streets of Rage great, but they expanded over these, bringing modern concepts and mechanics to improve the gameplay and provide replayability. Talking about it, the game will feature some hidden areas and items that you must collect. This will all influence your high score and also the in-game trophies that you get after complete each one of the five levels. The levels will have multiple areas to explore and some of them will be mini-games to change the pace a little bit, like a shootin' up. Yep, you heard it right, the guys put a shootin' up on a beatin' up. The game, will also, the game will have a great variety of enemies, each one with its unique attacks and will be guarded by bosses that can have up to three different phases. You can see some of the enemies in these images and you can spot a boss and his minions here. The game will also feature different modes that can be unlocked by reaching some high scores. I still don't know what modes will be available, but I hope that at least an arcade mode will be there. There are a few small details, like a more forgiving AI when compared with games from the time, meaning this is not a quarter muncher, so they don't need to be cheap. Another thing is, while we don't know which are your moves and commands, I know that the game will use all four buttons from the Neo Geo, so probably we will have an attack, a jump, a special, and probably a block or a pickup button. 
Graphically, the game looks outstanding, even with the limited use of colors. It has a Saturday morning cartoon vibe that will be complemented by the tongue-in-cheek story. The artist behind the game is Thomas McCluskey, who worked in games like Shredder Revenge, Panzer Paladin, and is also working on Toxic Crusader, so it's easy to understand why the game looks so good. The dude is a pixel art god. You can notice in these images how much care went into this game, with lots of details in the backgrounds, like bones in this forest and some move posters on the wall to show that the devs like good movies. If you wanna check these screenshots by yourself, they are all available on my site, link in the description, and also a small article with these pieces of information arranged in a better way than spilled by me in a video. As I said, the game will be out next year, still with no precise date. The game will be available in physical format for the Neo Geo, but even getting my hands on these, I still could not find any information about the other systems or if it will be available in physical format for them. But don't worry, I will let you guys know as soon as I get this information. And that's it for this small preview, this is not even a preview, let's call it the first leak for Vengeance Hunters. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and if you have any questions, fire them down in the comments. Other than that, I hope you all have an awesome day and remember, keep it up.